There's a lot of esoteric memes, so to speak, or occult memes. And it begs the question, are our masters seeding these to the internet? In this case, I mean, and if they are, they're dumbing things down, as always. You hear, or you see on here, uh, the creator and one little dot boy. Do any of you know? I mean, I've rattled this off before, but the one on the right, do you guys know what that's called? Do you know what that represents? Do you understand what that is? Anybody? I'm, I'm sincerely curious. If I paused here, could you figure this fucking shit out? Do you know? And the point of this is, is I want you to think about it in the event that you don't know. <clears throat> now I'm going to rattle off a few things having to do with it. It's the symbol for gold. It's also the same fucking sigil that represents Apollo the sun. It's also known as a circumpunct. It's got a lot of fucking names, but it's not known as one little dot boy is the point to that. It's not the same fucking thing as what you see on the left, which is Father Sky, Baal El Allah, Yaldabaoth, Jupiter. What else haven't I rattled off? It's the paternal spark. It's uh, It's got a lot of names. It's the thing that Sophia supposedly created. If you're into Gnosticism... You know, out of, uh, or uh, how should I put it, out of sight, so to speak, um, from the other, you know, respective powers that be. And so then she was ashamed of it, because if you look at it, it doesn't look like it turned out so well. So then she cast it away into a cloud that concealed it to hide it. And this is why, uh, supposedly, at least based on heliognosticism, now keep in mind, they were the Heliognostics. They worshipped the sun, which is the thing on the right. Not to be confused with the thing on the left. Okay? So the Heliognostics worshipped the sun, and that doesn't come up nearly enough. But, uh... So this thing was cast away into a cloud, so to speak. And that's kind of where we are. It's kind of what people would assume, you know, would be the Matrix and stupid fucking shit like that, even though that's a corrupted outline having to do with simulation theory, which is an agenda to promote a one world religion. Most people haven't figured that out. And there's a lot more to that, but it doesn't come up and it's not on the internet by and large because people don't have a fucking clue. Um, but when you hear about Jupiter or the father, you hear about it talking about how it's the, you know, it's the most powerful of the gods, essentially, even though, and then it also claims, but it is the only god. <laughs> it, it's just as good as the kids today who, you know, claim that they're non-binary, but they come from a binary standpoint and the non-binary stuff doesn't exist to begin with. Um, this thing claims that it's the only fucking god, but it wouldn't have to say that if it was the only fucking god. Um, it's, it's funny. So here's the duds, uh, you know, on the internet. You got the one at the top saying they're the same, and then they didn't choose the speller words, and 15 retards clicked heart. And then you got kids speaking through fucking gifts, which is just as fucking lame as speaking through, you know, social engineering stickers in place to do away with abstract thought. I'm talking about emojis, which is why there's a, a bar of emojis at the bottom of this jazz having to do with Instagram. Because you and I aren't supposed to articulate ourselves. We're not supposed to think abstractly. In terms of you and I being able to communicate with one another, our masters are trying to do away with that. And they're doing a damn fine job. I mean, myself included. We're all, in, we're all inundated or indoctrinated into this garbage. It's working. Look at this fucking retard. One little dot boy all day? At least somebody said the Demiurge. Point is, is you and I are surrounded by fucking morons. Here's somebody talking about Moloch. Why are they talking about Moloch? Here's somebody at least said Yaldabaoth. And that's it, I guess. False dichotomy stays bamboozling midwits. This thing will probably kick me out when I try the reply. Let's see. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. 
I'll do this so that it capitalizes the first word. Let's see if it kicks me out. Nope. People today are well below average and struggle to construct a proper sentence, period. That's my canned response for these twats. <laughs> I really want you to appreciate that those social engineering stickers are in the social engineering platforms. They were, uh, uh, an algorithm was written, code was written to incorporate that into this shit. Not to benefit you and I, but to fuck us up. It's an agenda. It's by design. And those people haven't figured that out. And it lends itself to the fact that most people can't figure this out. As always, what the fuck do I know?